Introducing uh, Mike Tyson. Well, there's no question that, that just like Muhammad Ali at his peak, uh, Mike Tyson's opponents come in with uh, a great psychological disadvantage. They regard Mike as a very, very special kind of opponent, naturally, which he is. Referee Ted Pick sending both boys back to their corners. A good clean fight, that is what we hope to see. Mike Tyson undefeated in his 10th professional fight against Robert Colet. Coming off a win in his last fight. And already we can see Tyson giving away height this time. We've seen him give away weight before, this time he gives away height. He's giving away weight as well, about seven pounds to Colet. Tyson 5'10, Colet, well, a good 6'3. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. There's a mandatory eight. They keep wheeling him out. He keeps knocking him over. And this is how he did it. Measured him up. Missed with that, not with that. And really, Colate was out, as the old story goes, before he hits the canvas. Fight number 11 for Mike Tyson, Sterling Benjamin. The opponent, Tyson, in the dark blue trunks with the white trim. Sterling Benjamin in the red. Last fight, Atlantic City. Bit of a come down now. We're in Latham, New York State. We're in round one, Tyson's 11th fight. Ten wins, seven inside round one. Did I say seven? Make that eight, perhaps, in fight number 11. The count is five. And Sterling Benjamin... Just beats the count, on they go, is he going to make the belt? Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance. The referee was just about to step in anyway. I was a little nervy. I knew I was in there with a good fighter that went the distance with some good fighters. And I was planning on just putting the pressure on him from the beginning to the end. I planned on coming out with a jab because I watched him in the DeWitt fight and he was counting with the right hand gun. And coming in the first round, I got grades with the right hand. And from then on, I know to slip my head and just keep coming forward. As for Benjamin, well, he was thoroughly impressed. He have a sledgehammer, man. You know, when I go down there, I feel it. He really hit hard. It's the hardest have I you? ever been hit. It is the hardest here. The hardest of my whole career, man. They keep lining him up, and Kid Catskill keeps knocking him down, and there will be no let-up for Mike Tyson either. He, he goes to Houston on the 13th. He's going to fight some Texas champ, and I think the guy's Richardson is his name. I don't know anything about him. They're supposed to have a film. But again, as long as Mike can hit them, if he hits them clean, they're going to go. sports, the measurements of the human body are thought to be of greater value, such as in boxing, where every portion of the fighter's anatomy is recorded and critiqued. For Mike Tyson, the most scrutinized measurement of all is his height. Is he really 5'11 and a half as reported, or is he shorter? For the press, it's become a very popular question. I'm tall enough to be heavyweight champ of the world. At least 10 times a day, let alone the press asking me how tall I am. People in general saying, you're not as big as I thought you was. The guy is your size doing all that damage. I always thought you were bigger. To my advantage, because most fighters are used to fighting opponents 6'3", 6 6'2", 6 the average um, heavyweight. And I feel that I use it to my advantage because I move my head, I'm very quick, and I'm low to the ground, and it's very difficult to hit me. I get a lot of leverage for my punches. And it doesn't matter if I punch up or straight or down or around. I have good leverage. 
jabbing is all to do with timing. If you throw your jab at the right time, you could be 5'6", and I'll jab a guy 6'4". When I was younger, I used to always say, God, I'm just, I'm just a midget. I'm never going to grow. I'm never going to be anything because I'm too short to do any kind of sports, anything. But then, you know I mean? I started believing in myself, and things worked out right. Well, you're looking at a very interesting and complicated matchup. Eddie Richardson is six foot six against Mike Tyson, who is described as 5'11", looks closer to 5'10", because of the squarishness of his build. Uh, going to be a really fascinating contest to see how Richardson attempts to use that advantage in height and reach. Castiamato, of course. Uh, oh, right hand by Tyson. Oh, my. First punch he threw. What took him so long? Eddie Richardson, looking at the referee, is in much disbelief as we are. Eddie Richardson said he was going to go after him and test him, and he may have made a very uh, serious error in strategy right there. Tyson is a little icebox rather than a refrigerator, yeah. I'll tell you what. Well, he has a 19 and three-quarter inch neck, which is approximately the size of actress Shelley Duvall's waist. <laughs> You certainly see the punching power in Tyson. One of the real rising stars in the uh, boxing galaxy today, Mike Tyson, a fellow for whom everybody predicts a great future. Uh, if they can find some fights, then... That left hand almost drove Richardson right through the canvas. He not only knocked him down, but he absolutely carried him through the air. And it's over. And now the knockout. A left hook, a la Frazier. Oh. And down goes Richardson. And Tyson just looks awesome, doesn't he? This is a say, fight number 13. Of the previous 12, nine have been won inside a round. In fact, I was there when he was he was stretched by Don Halpin. Four rounds in his third fight. So here we go then, round one. Both boys in white. Tyson with the red trim. And Nelson with the black. Nelson, as I say, will try what well, has to use his height and reach to just keep Tyson at bay, try and draw the sting for the first two or three rounds, because we know how dangerous Tyson can be early on. And somehow, well, the ref comes over, says, just keep your punches up. Kevin Rooney tries to wave him off. The referee says, I'm in charge here. OK, we're in the second, and once again, it's all Tyson and Nelson who was in deep trouble, is in deeper trouble as the left hook, which is fast becoming a Tyson trademark, sends him down. The gum shield has been spat out. Nelson says, that's it, thank you very much. I think discretion, the better part of Valor there. Conroy Nelson spat the gum shield out, walked back to his corner. Well, fight number 13, unlucky 13, I don't think so. 13 fights, 13 wins. At least Nelson got him into the second round. Tyson now observing the, the post-fight niceties. I thought Conroy Nelson, well, in fact, I wasn't the only one who thought Conroy, Conroy Nelson would stretch him, and he did, into round two. <laughs> 